Hello, my name is Andreas. My passion lies in anecdotes from Central European history. We are all familiar with the story of the siege of Troy in the second millennium BC. The heroes Paris, Helen, Hector, Odysseus, and Achilles are ingrained in our collective consciousness. And the Trojan horse has become a well-known term. But did you know that Troy was once again besieged nearly 2,500 years later? A Roman German emperor and a Byzantine emperor faced off in this instance. Now, let's explore all of this. Welcome to the Postcards from the Middle Ages. Here we see a famous scene from the ancient Battle of Troy in the 13th or 12th century BC. On the left, we can see the famous wooden horse. One of the inhabitants of the horse was the Greek hero Diomedes. After the victory over Troy, he, like Odysseus, faced a long and arduous journey back to his kingdom of Argos. This journey took him to various places, including Libya. Unlike Odysseus, Diomedes did not find a faithful wife waiting for him at home besieged by suitors. In his case, his wife had been unfaithful and even attempted to poison him. He left his kingdom and attempted to reach the west coast of Greece, where he was born. However, the gods or fate were not favorable to him once again, and he ended up landing on the Apulian coast in southeast Italy. There, he helped a local ruler against his enemies and, as a reward, married the ruler's daughter. He founded several cities in the region, one of which was named Troia or Troy. Fast forward nearly 2,500 years to the year 1021 AD, we remain in the same location, Troia in Italy. Now we see a map depicting southeast Europe at that time. The blue area represents the Roman German Empire, and the green area represents Byzantium. We can observe that large parts of Italy belong to the Roman German Empire, referred to as the Kingdom of Italy. However, in the southeastern area of Italy, we see a green background, indicating Byzantine rule. It is not surprising that this led to conflicts between the two empires. At the request of the Pope, Emperor Henry II set out with three army groups to southern Italy to reclaim cities that had aligned themselves with Byzantium. The army he commanded marched to northern Apulia, where they besieged the Byzantine fortress. Troia the city sent children and a priest to the emperor, who pleaded for forgiveness on behalf of the city. After multiple pleas, Emperor Henry II showed mercy. Some parts of the city walls had to be demolished, and the representatives of the city had to swear allegiance and provide hostages. Afterward, the walls were allowed to be rebuilt. However, a major field battle with the Byzantines did not take place. Both armies had to return to their respective core territories for various reasons. Unlike its ancient counterpart, Troia emerged relatively unscathed from this siege. But over 200 years later, in 1229, things took a turn for the worse for the new Troia. Emperor Frederick II was on a crusade in the Holy Land. As he had been excommunicated by the Pope, some cities took the opportunity to submit to papal rule. The emperor could not let this go unanswered, so he hurried to Italy and made an example of them. Several cities were completely destroyed. Troia lost its fortifications and had to provide hostages once again. Unfortunately, its name did not bring luck to the city. However, it is still inhabited to this day and had nearly 7,000 residents in 2022. Here is a picture of the well-known cathedral of the city. Our current journey into history has led us to the Kingdom of Italy within the Holy Roman Empire. For those interested in the fascinating history and the role played by the legendary Iron Crown of the Lombards for the entire Holy Roman Empire, I recommend this video. Servus, see you next time.